What's going on, guys? As we know, we're in quarantine right now. Depending on where you live in the world, you may be locked down more than other places. But it is important and paramount that we keep up not just our mental and emotional fitness, but our physical fitness too. So how can we do that though when we're locked indoors? Well, we're gonna go over a home workout right now that you can follow along to. So there's a couple different ways you can make a really good workout. If a lot of people are working out with a variety of fitness levels, I find a little easier if I go based off of time versus giving you a specific number of push-ups or pull-ups or squats or whatever. So we're gonna go for 30 second intervals with multiple exercises known as supersets or even circuit training because there's gonna be more than one back to back. All right, so for this workout, we're just going to assume no weights other than yourself and no equipment other than things you would find around a house like a chair. Make sense? Great, let's get to it. All right, the exercises we're gonna to do today, push-ups, squats, and we're gonna use a power pole from Dragon Ball Z to do like this special chair kind of pull up back workout. If you don't have a power pole, that's fine. You can use a broom. Just make sure it's strong enough that it doesn't snap on you, because that would be bad. Before we start any of the strength stuff, we're gonna do a warm up. Just to get your blood flowing, to make sure we don't pull something from going zero to 100, you wanna ease into it. So whether you follow along with me or you wanna do your own warm up, totally fine. I'm gonna do some jumping jacks, so you can count in your head or with me, up to you. One, two, so again, three. I'm not gonna keep counting, but we're just warming up right now. You don't have to go all out at the beginning. A nice tempo. Getting the blood flow going, getting the heart rate elevated. So it just gets you ready for action. High knees, yeah, that's right. So high knees, again, maybe to hips or a little bit higher if you want, and then kick your butt. Just loosening up through some active movement patterns, dynamic movements, and then just hopping in place. Arm circles, big forward, loosening up the shoulders, I'm really reaching through. Maybe bring it in a little bit smaller, a little bit faster. We're not gonna hold any crazy static deep stretches in the beginning. So right now I'm rolling out my wrist while I'm talking. We're just getting things loose. We don't need the splits or anything for this kind of workout. We just wanna make sure our wrists are good for push-ups. You know, the chest is a little bit loose so we can hit those push-ups again without pain, but we don't wanna go so loose that we get uh, a lack of tension in our muscles by overstretching them. So maybe we stretch the neck side to side. You know, just ear to shoulder. Good, shoulder shrugs forward. Again, just loosening up. And you don't have to necessarily warm up this long, but I'd rather warm up extra than warm up not enough and hurt myself. So just something to consider. You won't go as low, but you should feel the stretch more. And again, we're not gonna stay here very long. And even right now, instead of holding it, you can go into it and then slowly release. Go into it, maybe on an exhale, so your lungs aren't blocking you. And then inhale, slowly come back. So again, for this one, we're just gonna turn our hands backwards or maybe slightly out to the side, depending on your mobility. You're gonna slide your butt forward. And instead of letting your shoulders collapse by your head, you're gonna open by rotating externally in your shoulders to get that stretch. If your elbows are prone to hyperextension, you can put a slight bend in them. And again, we're just here for a little bit. Maybe you rock into it and then slowly come out and then into the pose. All right, we're gonna do a circuit today. So a superset is if there's two exercises back to back with little to no rest. Since we're doing more than two exercises, it's more like a circuit. So we're gonna go from one thing to the next to the next and then back through three times. I'm gonna have my phone so I can time us. For this workout, we're just gonna do 30 seconds at a time at each thing. Those four exercises, three times each. You with me? All right, let's get started. Make sure you stay safe. Yes, you wanna challenge yourselves, but you don't wanna hurt yourselves. All right, you with me? Push-ups first. In five, four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds. So again, I don't care how fast you're going with these. You can go super fast or you can do a super slow push-up all the way down and all the way up. It's up to you. And if you need to take a break at any time, please do. So we're just giving you something to follow along to. So this is just what I'm doing today. Doesn't really help that I've already worked out a bunch today, but you know, that's life for you. We're at 22 seconds. Come on, hang in there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, I'll give you five seconds off to get ready for your squats. Ready, and let's go. 30 seconds of squats. So again, just using our body weight, if you want to make it more challenging, if you have 
a weight around or something you want to hold, feel free. Or you could always do jump squats. I'm not going to because I need to talk right now. And it gets hard to talk if I make everything super hard. So again, breathe. We're almost there. Uh, 10 more seconds. Good all the way up, all the way down. And if you notice, I pause at the bottom too. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Take a moment. Get ready for our modified chair thing. Good. And let's go. So for this, again, we're going to pull up and bring it back down. And bring it back down. Good. Breathe. Good. Squeeze at the top. Lower. Squeeze at the top. Lower. I'm pushing my hips up to the sky as well so my butt's not sinking to the floor. It gets me more glute activation and core use. Squeeze. Again, I'm rotating in my wrist like I'm trying to bring my thumbs to the top. Almost like I'm trying to break this bar without actually breaking it. Good, let's say another five because I can't see the clock since it's under my butt. Four, three, two, and one. Good, relax. We're gonna come back to standing, come to the chair. We're gonna hit those dips we talked about. This may be a little bit harder because we hit arms already. That's okay, we like a challenge. In three, two, and one. Good, 30 seconds. So again, I like to externally rotate in my hands, if you notice my hands aren't straight forward, you can put a little bit of pressure in your shoulders. So turn the wrists out if you need to. Again, try to come all the way up and down. I don't care about the speed at which you're moving. So find the tempo that works for you. Try to find sensation in this. Make it a little challenging. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right. Bring it back. We'll take 10 seconds off between each round, just so you can catch your breath. Three seconds, two, one, and push-ups. I'll do them face on this time, so I can see the clock. I'm going a little bit wider this set, just because why not? Mix it up. Breathe. <sighs> Hang in there, everyone. I'm with you. Literally, I'm doing it. You can see. <laughs> 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Take a moment. Get ready for those squats from the side this time. Let's go. Good. Breathe. And again, I come all the way up. Sink down. Hold for a moment. All the way up. Sink down. Have the grass stuck to my hand. <laughs> Good. Ten seconds. And as you get more tired, you can take deeper breaths. Oxygen helps rejuvenate your body with the nutrients it needs and removes waste. Three, two, and one. Bring it back to the chair. So this one again, I'm just gonna have to try to count in my head because I can't see my phone. Get my bar ready. And three, two, and one. Let's go. Breathe. Again, I'm pausing for a moment. I'm thinking we have 20 seconds left. <laughs> if you need to rest at the bottom for a moment, do it, it's all good. Or keep moving if you have it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, take a moment, back to dips. I'll do it this way, get this guy in five, four, three, Two, and one. Again, turning out the wrist as best as you can, using what you have. Again, my left wrist is a little blocked by the chair. That's what you get for camera angles though. What can I say? Breathe in. Breathe in is what we do. Then we just have one more set. And then we're done. 10. See, it's pretty hard, right? This isn't even a long workout. We're at five minutes. Intensity though. Three. Two, and one, take a moment. So again, the higher the intensity of the workout, the less time you need to work out for. So there's an inverse correlation. The easier you work out, the more time you need to put into that workout. I'll give you guys another six seconds, because I wanted to. Five, four, three, two, one. This is it, last set, guys, come on. Go for it. My mic is hitting the phone. <laughs> 
again, form, quality over quantity. Let's say you need to drop to your knees. See, I'll even show you on my knees too, so you don't have this pride that you can't do it on your knees for some reason, or it's wrong. But maybe you catch your breath, so you go back to normal ones. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good, last set of squats. So again, let's go in three, two, and one. Down, and up, down. And up, and maybe you mix it up and you hold for a moment at the bottom too. You can do that, or maybe you pulse, so you don't come all the way up, you don't go all the way down. So you keep this tension in both points where you can't rest, so you have to work harder. Then maybe you get tired of that, so you come all the way up, and then all the way down. Oh, 10 seconds. Whew. These are the last sets. Hang in there. Five, four, three, dos, uno. Good job. Back to our makeshift you pull up bar station. Again, I'll count in my head because I can't look at the clock. Final round. Hopefully our broom does not break. Maybe put a pillow or something under your head. Three, two, and one. It's so nice. <laughs> 20 seconds. This is a cool one actually. I've actually really never done this one very often, but uh, totally works well if you don't have a pull-up bar. Normally I have a pull-up bar at my door, so I stay away from needing to do other things, but it's fun to mix it up every once in a while. Five, four, three, two, holding at the top for a burn, one, and down. Last set of triceps. Yeah, all right, in three, two, and one. My clock is under me, oh well. I'll just count. Six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, sure. We're at 10. 14. We're more than halfway. My shoes match my tank top. Go team. 24. Five. Four, three, two, and game, set, and match. There you have it, guys. A eight minute and 16 second workout. That's all it took. I'm tired. Hopefully you're tired. If not, you can use that as a gauge to push yourself more for the next one. If you're really, really tired, maybe pull back a little bit. You don't have to do these hard workouts every single day. I do strength training every other day, so I give myself a day off to rest. Don't overtrain, because then you're not gonna see the results you need. You need to make sure you rest adequately and have proper nutrition. Have any questions, like, comment, subscribe below. It's snack time.